All right, YouTube, we need to talk. I just saw in a uh, post that Missouri Senator Maria Chappelle Nadal um, has called for the assassination of President Trump. She didn't actually come out and say, you should assassinate President Trump. What she said was, I hope that President Trump is assassinated. And she posted this on her Facebook page. She has since deleted it, but she did confirm to a news source in St. Louis that she did indeed post that she hoped that Donald Trump would be assassinated. And uh, it was during an exchange that she had with another left-wing activist. By the way, instead of saying left-wing or liberal, why don't we just call them Bolsheviks from now on? See if they understand what that means. Um, but I'm glad to see that the Missouri, uh, the Missouri state chair or the Missouri chairman of the Democratic Party actually denounced what she said. He called it indefensible, which it is. Um, and he went on to say that all sides need to agree that there is no room for suggestions of political violence in America. And the Missouri Democratic Party will absolutely not tolerate calls for the assassination of the president. Well, good for him. We need to have more denouncements of violence. In fact, elected officials should not be calling for the assassination or the killing or hoping or wishing for the killing of another elected official. In fact, no one should be calling for that against anyone else, period. Um, and um, Senator uh, Claire McCaskill um, actually said that her statements were outrageous and that she should resign. And in response to the calls for her resignation, um, Chappelle Nadal responded with, hell no. I think she should resign. I think it's a disgrace. I think that uh, the leaders in Congress, our elected officials, should lead by example and not hope for anyone to be assassinated or to be killed. And I'm glad that the left is actually calling out their own people this time. And on both left and right, if uh, our political leaders called each other out and made their own people accountable for their actions and what they say, um, then it would be a much less heated environment. The media needs to also be put in check. They're also amping up the rhetoric and whipping people up into hate, which is why I've cut the cable. I do not have cable TV. I don't get my news from the mainstream media, from media, corporate legacy media. And um, I think that, um, you know, we need to stop focusing on what makes us different. Diversity is great. It sounds great. We are a, a country of many people, many colors, many likes, many dislikes. And those differences are beautiful. But we cannot allow people to separate us because of those differences. We need to celebrate those differences. We need to look to each other and see that everyone is beautiful and not be divided by race, by gender, by religion. We need to stop it with that. And if we stood together, we the people in this country stood together and realized that we are a good people, we are a good country, we are a just country, we are a just people, that we are not victims in this country. If you are in this country, you are doing pretty good. And these liberals, these Democrats, have made their reputation and their fortunes on keeping us divided and keeping us fighting with one another. And we need to stop it. We need to recognize that they're keeping us divided for their benefit and not ours. Um, so that's all I have to say about that. And I, I, I was actually able to go and look at my subscribers. And I was very excited that somebody that I am subscribed to and get their notifications, that they're subscribed to me. So hello, Political Avenger. I'm glad to have you have you with me. And I can't wait to see what you think and, and to see more of your videos. So see ya when you make your video. Have a good night. And as my friend Lionel from the Lionel Nation says, comment as you see fit. 
And don't forget to like and subscribe. Good night.